So we still have to go to um, YouTube, but I think if somebody was trying to get in as an attendee, we now can. Okay. Yeah, there's an attendee in the wait list. It's Mr. Lay. So uh, not, not the uh, gentleman I think you were expecting. Barry, you'll be able to promote attendees because they made you co um, co host. Okay. So if, if you guys uh, say, Ryan, do this, I'll be able to do it, but I'm going to hang back so that you guys uh, don't have to listen me, to me anymore. <laughs> oh. so if you need me, I can pop back in. Ryan, um, how is the, uh, how is the, um, Electronic magnifier doing? It's awesome. Yeah, we found a good place for it. And um, I actually uh, just late last week, uh, one of the staff members took the email with all the resources and we're turning it into like a libguide for our website. So we, I hope it's okay. We're going to give you credit. We're just going to say thank you to William Warren from the MTC for all the uh, helpful information. But she included a picture of the magnifier, so we can talk about that as one of our local resources. Okay, um, I have uh, I have paper docs, you know, the the only copy that came with it. With it, uh, do you want me to send those to you as well? Sure, if you want. You can also, um, if you put something in an envelope and leave it in the library's book drop, um, I'm happy to. I'll get those if you do that because I empty the book drop. Okay, sounds good. But I'm glad it's working. Yeah, it's real. It's actually a really nice piece of equipment. I can see why you. Uh, yeah, it's a, yeah. new. It's like over two thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it like I knew it was going to be nice, but I have to admit it's a little bit nicer than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, why don't we start on the technical parts of the meeting, so that uh, if and when the others join us and. Uh, Hopefully, it's just a matter of them having technical problems. But there's, I have to read something before we start. So uh, call the meeting to order. Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order, suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Laws Chapter 30A, Section 18, and the Governor's March 15, 2020 order, impo imposing strict limitation on the number of people that may gather in one place. This meeting of the Southboro Cable TV Committee will be conducted by a remote participation to the greatest extent possible. Specific information and the general guidelines for remote participation by members of the public and or parties with a right and or requirement to attend this meeting can be found on the Town of Southboro's website at www.southborotown.com. For this meeting, members of the public who wish to watch or participate in the meeting may do so in the following manner by finding the meeting at www.selfro.com slash remote meetings. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time by a technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so, despite best efforts, we will post on South Bros website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. Everybody got that? Yep. Okay, first order of business is approval of minutes. And while the agenda says we have three minutes to approve, I noticed that at the January 22nd meeting, we did approve the minutes for November 7th. Oh, okay. So we only have to approve the minutes for January 22nd and February 6th. Uh, I trust everyone has had the opportunity to review them. Yes. Any alterations, corrections, or amendments? Um, if, uh, if the January 22nd uh, minutes don't mention the approval of the November minutes, I'll make that correction. They do. They oh, do okay. Then, then, uh, then we're in good shape. Yep. So I'll entertain a motion to uh, approve the minutes of January 22nd, 
2020 and February 6, 2020. So moved. Second. Aye. I, I second. All in favor, we have to do a, a, a voice vote uh, because it's being recorded. So, Kathy? Yes. Will? Yes. And Barry votes yes as well. It's unanimous. Okay, okay I don't see. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm looking to see if we have any other attendees. It says. Um, shows six participants, but I only see the, I only see five. Uh, Mr. Stivers and Mr. Litt are still listed as attendees. Okay, but we do not have Mr. Marr or uh, Mr. Hewick, and I wonder if they're having technical problems. Um, let me text Mr. Hewick. Yeah. I got a text from Mr. Marr saying, is there a Zoom link? I don't have it. He doesn't have it in his calendar invite. Um, the, uh, the last email you sent out had the correct Zoom link. That's what I used to, uh, to get in. OK. Um, Hi, Bill. Okay. You sh um, let me look on my in my email to see what it looked like. You should have gotten uh, yesterday at two fourteen. I got a reminder from the town of Southboro. I did too. I believe I did too. And I think there was even a reminder just a little while ago. Okay, but look, look at 214 to yesterday. Yeah, and we don't have John either, but he texted me that he can't find the link either. So I will. Barry, if you tell him to go to southboroughtown.com and then there's an area for information on remote meetings, I'm going to link it in the chat for you to No, send. it would have been from the town of Southboro. Okay. Uh, Ryan? Yep. Um, I believe that those links are for members of the public. You may have to promote uh, whoever uses those. Yep, I can do that. He may not have received, if he was an attendee, he may not have received reminders like you guys did. Okay. So if they go to the town website and look for virtual meetings, Ryan, they'll find it? Yeah. They're, they're on the rotator on the front, there's a click here for COVID-19. Okay, so I sent him, sent it to Mr. Marr. Did you find it, uh, Bill? So if you go to southboroughtown.com and look for the link for virtual meetings, You'll find it. It's southboroughtown.com uh, slash remote meetings. Oh, it's, it's southboroughtown.com slash remote meetings. I should clicks, know since I just read it in the. Uh, if he clicks on the, the link next to the cable committee that says Zoom, the uh, meeting will pop up for him. Okay. Well, we'll give them. Couple of minutes. Since we can't really accomplish much without them being present.
Uh, I do have a question, Barry. If we, uh, you know, since we're not going to conclude the contract, uh, you know, this in the next 12 days, I guess, um, we just uh, continue with the old contract, right? Well, I think that's open for discussion. And I, I, I want to say something when everyone's on the line before we start about what's transpired up to this point. Okay, let's and wait then. And that'll be part of it. Okay, thank you. Okay, but, but so just go to southborotown.com slash remote meetings. Southborotown.com. Yes. Yeah. Virtual meeting and resources stuff for remote meeting and Zoom meeting. Um, so, uh, remote town meetings, stuff for remote town. And, uh, see what that says. South Borough Virtual Meeting Information. Oops. Okay, so, ah, what happened? There it is. So I see all of these Zoom meetings here at Cable Television Commission, 2 p.m. That's it. Okay. Let's go on there. Yeah, that works. Okay, so I can't. Uh, let me just hang up. Um, okay. okay. Now we're just waiting for Mr. Marr, and I've. You know, I, I, I don't know that. Is he going to participate today? I never got an answer from him, so. Well, he. he he did email saying he couldn't find the link. Oh, okay. So I emailed the information to him. Okay. So hopefully if we give him uh, a minute because the meeting doesn't serve much purpose if he's not going to. Yeah. Well, it serves a purpose. In, in that, uh, we know the license will expire. Yeah. But, um, Is his first name John? Yes. Yes. Okay. There's a John uh, in the attendees. I'm going to promote him. Hello. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Hi, everybody. Sorry for the delay. I didn't, I thought the link was going to be in the um, calendar invite and I couldn't find it and I was trying to figure it out. So Barry just sent me the um, website to get on the town virtual meeting. So 
Okay. Can you hear me all right? We can. All right, right. We, we are all here, so, so let's get started. Um, given that it's been so long since we last met, just wanted to uh, say a few words uh, about that. And, and what I'm gonna say represents my opinion only. I haven't discussed with any other members of the, uh, of the committee, but we met on February 6th. And at that time, we laid out in pretty good detail what we were hoping to achieve in the renewal of the license with Charter. And in the now almost seven months that have transpired since then, we have gotten virtually no response. Now, I, before I did this, I practiced law for over 40 years. And part of that involved negotiating a lot of agreements from international sponsorship agreements, national collective bargaining agreements covering thousands of employees, bowl game sponsorship agreements, you name it. And in those 40 years, I never had a situation where I made a proposal on behalf of a client and got no response for more than six months. When I started my career as a young lawyer with the National Labor Relations Board, I would litigate cases against employers uh, charged with uh, failing to bargain in good faith. And if I had a situation where a union made a proposal and an employer didn't respond in more than six months, that would be a slam dunk violation of its duty to bargain in good faith. Um, to me, uh, it's insulting. I think it's insulting to the committee. It's insulting to the charter subscribers and it's insulting to the town of Southboro. There are 12 days left before this license expires. And even worse, there's only four days left until the only Board of Selectmen meeting before that license expiration. So from my perspective, it's hard for me to see how we can possibly approve a new license before this one expires. And we have to, as a group, seriously consider what we need to do to communicate with subscribers in, in, in South Carolina uh, that their service with Charter may expire in less than two weeks. I, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever is necessary to get this done. But unless Charter is willing to, to come to the table, be at the table today and agree to terms today, I don't see how this uh, gets done. So again, that's my opinion. Happy for other members of the committee uh, to express their opinions. Uh, and I'm happy to let, uh, John, I'm happy to let you respond. Anyone? I think you put it very well, Barry. Okay. Um, all right, so let's go back since it has been uh, so long. At a meeting on February 6th, uh, what we said was we were looking for a 10 year renewal, capital funding of $65,000, 5% PEG access support, the ability to do live feeds from the public safety building and the library, uh, the addition of a high definition channel, and there were just some address changes uh, in terms of where service was provided in, a, in the exhibit to the license. Now, uh, I said we hadn't heard anything. At some point, I saw some emails saying that Charter was willing to pay 38,000 in capital funding. Now we had talked about that on February 6th and I thought we had made clear that for a variety of reasons, most, most of which pertain to uh, the five-year agreement we have with Verizon uh, that 38,000 would not be adequate. But that, that's the last I've heard. So John, if you're 
in a position to tell us at this point what Charter is willing to do. We're all ears. Yeah. Hi, Barry. Hi, everybody. Um, yeah, I apologize. I didn't mean any disrespect. I was kind of wondering myself because we did respond with the 38,000 and I haven't heard anything in return since then either. So I've been sort of waiting on you folks. We're doing a proportionate license. I said at the meeting on February 6th, it's simple math. We want to do a proportionate license to Verizon. Verizon has 80% of the customers in town. We have 20% of the customers. You have them with a 95. I have a draft from Verizon. I don't even know if it's final or if this number is even accurate or not. But according to my notes, they're doing 95,000 in capital. So that's where we came up with our, um, our 38,000 for a 10-year license. Or if you want us to go to a five-year license, we're happy to do that. It's 19,000. But we're not going beyond what's proportionate to what Verizon's offered. It doesn't make any business sense, and that's where we stand. Okay. Well, what's your position on all the other items that I listed? Well, I, I was told that you want to figure out the financial piece before we talk about anything else. So, you know, that's where I'm at. We have to get the financial piece is what I was told before we do drafting or do anything else. John, you've had this information for seven months. This is absurd that you yeah, come we to responded meeting. to it and you never responded back. Well, John. First of all, we told you at the February 6th meeting that 38,000 for 10 years would not work for the town. So to come back, and I think it was, it was like a month ago, to come back five months down the road and offer us what we told you five months earlier wasn't going to work, doesn't really advance the ball at all. John, I did get back to you. I sent you an email on August 20, and I explained in detail the logic and the reason for why 38 isn't going to work for us. And that email was sent on 2.55 p.m. August 20th. And then on August the 25th, I sent you another email and said, John, see the attached email. We're waiting to hear from you. And I further explained why the 38 isn't going to fly. We've got a real problem with our future needs. And the problem is not just Verizon. We need to meet our needs and we need a guarantee of that need. And that was explained to you on the, uh, in the email. In fact, I sent you another one on June 17 as well, John. But the most recent ones well, were July 20 and July 25th. And it sets it down in detail what our position is and why we need it. So I did, we did get back to you. But even right. if, John, even Are if- Are aware that we only have 400 subscribers in Southboro? Is everyone aware of how many subscribers we have in Southboro right now? Yes, we're aware. In 2006, we had 5,000 subs in Southboro. Okay, here, here's my problem. Even if I said to you- Verizon has all the customers. You should have got more money out of Verizon. What do you want me to say? No, no, no. Here's what I would say. Even if I said to you, okay, fine, we'll do a five-year license, 19,000. Where does that get me? This license expires in 12 days, John. Barry, these licenses, it, it, it just continues on. It's, it's not that that no, now. No, it doesn't continue on. on we agree it continues and, uh, on. And when you sit on your hands for seven months, expires. you tell me why I should out. say it should continue on. Why it should? Why, why should be, we be willing to show Charter any courtesy in that regard when we've gotten none in response? Well, I'm just telling you what the, 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 the math works out to. So you don't like the math, but the math is what it is. No, I said, put the math aside. Even if we said you're gonna do 5% on the PG access and the 19,000 over five years, you still can't tell me about the rest of the terms. I'm happy to discuss the rest of the terms. What is there to and discuss? And I can't go to 5% of gross. Is that what you said? I'm sorry, 5%, same as Verizon. No, Verizon's 4%. They're going to 5%. We're willing to do 4%. Okay, then we, I don't think we have a deal, John. 
Verizon's going to 5%? Yes. They will go to 5%. Verizon's going to 5%. They'll go to 5% if we get it out of you, John. They'll go to 5 Are we talking about a five-year license or a 10-year license? Are we talking well, about- if, if all uh, you're going to do is that uh, $3,800 a year, then I don't think we have any option, again, just speaking for me, to, than to do a five-year. Okay, we'll do a five-year and Verizon paid up front. You talked about them. We can pay up front too in the first two years like they did. Okay. I don't know if that's necessary or not, but we're not going anywhere. I, you know, I understand your dilemma with Verizon, but that that isn't my fault or our fault that Verizon might skip town on you. You, you decided to do business with them, not, you know, that was your decision. John, you know better than that. Uh, <laughs> come on now. What? We decided to do business with Verizon. Of course we did. We were sick and tired of the lousy, crappy service we got from Charter. Who wouldn't have done it? Now, come on, John. Look. It is a I problem. Know, just, Bill, it's a fact. I, I'm just saying it's a, it's a fact that they're involved in this, but it's not our fault that they're involved. And well, they're, let me tell you something. They have the termination you know clause and all that stuff. That isn't our fault. That's not your fault. But the reason you lost all those subscribers to Verizon way back when, John, is because of the lousy, crappy service and signal quality Charter provided. Now, that may have been before your, before your term, but that's a fact. So our problem here is a joint problem. It's a problem with Verizon and it's a problem with Charter. And it's not gonna go away from us and we're not gonna have it go away from you either. It's gotta be addressed jointly. Okay, I, and that, that does raise another question with me. Uh, we had an, I don't know if the members of the committee have an opportunity, have an opportunity to see what I sent out this morning. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, so for the record, uh, we had, uh, through the town administrator uh, requested uh, information from Charter uh, relating to services they provide. And John responded to the town administrator, uh, I guess on Wednesday, saying that information was available. John, can you tell me how voluminous that information is? Is it thousands of pages? No. Is it hundreds of pages? No. Is it 10 pages? Uh, probably something like that. So is it possible you could email it to us? Well, in the license, it says to view it or whatever the heck the language was in the license. I forget what the exact language was, but you're welcome to meet at a mutually convenient time and place to view the information. I'll ask again, John, can you email it to us? I might be able to. I'll have to uh, ask somebody if I can. I was told to go by the Wait terms a second, of the license. John. You'll have to ask somebody if you can email me documents. Well, somebody told me to just pro provide it the way it was written in the license is what I was told, so. Okay, it's just a continuation of the treatment we've gotten from Charter from the beginning. And I'm about done. This is ridiculous. So you're not in a position to tell us whether you can do live feeds from the public safety building or the library. That was a question. We can consider it, certainly. You've had seven months to consider it. Well, Barry, you know from negotiating things all these years, you know, it's a, it's a total pack. Right, and you've responded on one so item. I was told in this call, we had to come to terms on the finances, so. What? Excuse me? 
I don't, I don't think anyone said anything. So we're just supposed to say, okay, you go back and talk to your people. And whenever you feel like it, another six months down the road, maybe you'll get back to us and maybe you'll let us know whether, whether we'll deign to do these things. Well, do you want to do five years, 3,800 a year at 4%? I'm saying, again, I can only speak for myself. I would be open to doing five years, 3,800 a year, 5% as well as these other things we've we've mentioned i didn't say five percent i said four percent well we're not we're, i can tell you i am not interested in doing four percent and i very much would be very much surprised if the committee is but if, if any of the committee want to speak up and say they're interested in Four percent, please feel free. No, not me. Not me. Well, if there's a capital payment, we can't go up to five percent. Why not? Because of the six twenty-one order. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? I got plenty of plenty of licenses, John, that went to five percent and gave us capital. Recently? Yes. I don't know. You said you wanted to do what Verizon was doing. Verizon's at 4%, Barry. They're going to go to 5 They agreed to go 5%, but they were concerned. They didn't want to be at 5 if you were not going to agree to 5 Look at Section 5.4.1 of the Verizon license. I believe I sent it to you. It says yeah, right there. It's 5.3.1. I'm very familiar with it. All right. And what does it say? It says... 5% if we get it from the other cable operator, right? It's right there. That's what it says. Yeah. It doesn't mean we're going to do it. No, but it means that if you give us five, they're going to pay five. And that's what you said earlier. You can't, you got to match them. So you, we're giving you an opportunity to match them, John. I said proportional. Well, it is proportional. It's the same percentage. Yeah, every subscriber is going to pay the same, whether it's Charter's got 400 or if they eventually go down to three, which is highly likely the way this is going. We're trying to make you a partner, John. We're trying to make your service better to the town to help you get more subscribers. If I had my guess, I'd say it looks like Charter wants to be in this business even less than Verizon does. Like I said, I don't foresee us going anywhere. Well, I don't foresee us getting a license. Well, we're, we're offered what's proportionate to a competitor bill. John, 5% is gonna come from Verizon if you give us five. That's proportional. You heard Barry say he'd accept the 38, all right? That is an enormous concession, John. Don't nickel and dime us with the 4 and 5% gig, all right? There's nothing in 631 or whatever the FCC order is that prohibits you from giving us 5% and capital. It's not there. We're looking for 5%. Barry said he'd accept the 38. You know what we want, public safety and the public library connections, live feeds, and we want an HD channel. How soon can you let us know? How about later this afternoon? No, next week. When? How about Monday? Monday's a holiday, Bill. Every day's a holiday for charter, John. How about Tuesday? Yeah, sometime next week. I'll, I'll give you a call on Tuesday and um, yeah, I'll get back to you next week. Okay, I, I'll just say this. The, the, if that's the way we're going to leave it, then I think we as a committee have an obligation to advise people in town that there's a possibility that the charter license will expire on September 16th. I think it would be irresponsible of us to wait 
a week before it expires and then tell people, oh, by the way, you're going to lose your service uh, on the 16th. I don't know. Again, I, I'm open to what others on the committee feel. I would support what you just said, Barry, as a motion to, uh, to inform people. Second it. All in favor. Oh, I'm, yeah. Bill, I've never heard of such a thing. I don't know if you have any comment on that. There's a whole process to go through. You can't just shut off the cable system. Well, uh, this is out of my hands, John. They have the legal power and the legal right to do it. And if they elect to go forward and do that and deny the license, that's their prerogative. I think you better take them seriously, John. I've never Based on what? <laughs> Based on what? Well, matching what Verizon has offered. No, you're not. Yep. Why aren't we? Verizon agreed to 5%. And the only reason they put the language they did in was they didn't want to be undercut so that you got a better deal than they had. I'm sure you can persuade your people, John, that when the other license says we'll go to five and you offer five, it's going to be comparable. I don't think that's very uh, rocket science math. So Barry, I guess you have a motion before the committee. Yeah, um, okay. All in favor of giving notice to the community that charter's license uh, may expire on September, well, at midnight on September 16th. Uh, Kathy? Yes. Will? Yes. And I vote yes. Um, now, John, the notion that, uh, you know, given the history here, if you tell me you're gonna call Bill with an answer on Tuesday, I could maybe hold off, but if you're just telling me you're going to call Bill on Tuesday and maybe you'll get back to him sometime next week or whenever, I'm sorry, that, that, that ship has sailed. I have no confidence in Charter uh, being responsive in that way. So are you going to, can you commit to uh, giving us a final answer on the five years, 3,800 a year, 5%, live feeds from the public safety building and the library and the HC channel on Tuesday. I'm just reading through this 5% language again. Licensees will provide annual funding to issuing authority in the amount of 4% of the licensee's gross annual revenue. That's what the license says. And, and keep reading. Subject to the limitation 6.2, provide however that's percentage so in, increase to 5%. If the town notifies and rise in such date, the charter will also be obligated to pay the town on that 5%. I don't understand why that's a problem, John. It's only 1% of the bills for the subscribers. It doesn't make any difference whether you got 400 or 12 billion subscribers. It's not another penny out of Charter's pocket. The number of subscribers is irrelevant. It's 1% of the bill. And the Verizon license very clearly says that when we notify Verizon that you will be obligated to pay 5%, they'll jack it up to five, all right? There won't be one day on the, from now to the end of the world when Verizon, uh, when Charter is going to be pay, paying 5% and Verizon isn't. I just, I don't know why that's a problem. Of all the issues to take with, uh, with you know, what we're proposing, that would have been the last thing I would think you'd have a problem with. Uh, because of the 621 order. <clears throat> um, all right, well, I'll get back to Bill on, um, on Tuesday then. Okay. All right, John. 
if, if All you right, tell thanks me. everyone. Have a good weekend. Okay, wait, wait. What? I just want to be clear on this. You're going to, you've committed to get back to John, to Bill on Tuesday with Charter's final response on all of these issues. Is that what you're saying? Well, I was told today that we wanted to agree I'm on not, the financial issues. I don't care what you were told today. I'm asking you now. Is that what you're committing to do? On the financial issues? Yes. No, on all issues. And what are the other ones you want to address, Barry? Uh, Live feeds added for the public safety building and the library and an HD channel. And you've read the Verizon agreement. You know that Verizon has agreed to both of these things. Capital in the amount of how much, Barry? 38? Yeah, 3,800 3, per year for five years. You got all that, John? Yeah. I'll put it to you in an email if you, if you want, if that would be helpful. All right. OK. okay. Are you, again, I, I'd like to hear you say you're committing to give us the final answer on Tuesday. Yeah. OK. I'm good. I'm reluctant to do it, but on your personal assurance that we're going to get a final answer on Tuesday, I think given it's Friday, it's holiday Monday, we'll hold off on putting out our announcement until after we get that response on Tuesday. But if we don't get a response or it's unsatisfactory, then we've already adopted the motion, we'll move forward. Okay. Okay. And, and again, you're going to, you email me the, the documents responsive to our request I'm sorry? Will you email me the documents responsive to our request for information? Yeah, I'll let Bill know on Tuesday on that one too. Are these documents confidential? No, we have a right to, to see them. What he's saying is he wants to drag us to some location to have to do that to look at them. Uh, rather than just making it easy for us. That, that's the attitude Charter has had. No, it's not to drag you to a location. It's what the license says. Okay, John. And, and I would have you come I'm to our sure offices, but our offices don't allow visitors right now. So, so it seems right. like an email ought to be an easy call, John. <laughs> All right. Uh, one question. When All the, right. when the uh, regulation you. says view, does that mean view in person? Because view can mean quite a few things. Well, it's, it, it, it does say we have a right to go and inspect at, at a locate or yeah, it mutually talks about agreeable at a convenient time and place location. Okay. Um, and that's why I was at, you know, if it was 100 pages, then I would say fine. But in this day and age, to say that it's somehow burdensome to email. 10 pages is just um, frankly silly and, and doesn't show an attitude of wanting to be a partner. It shows an attitude of uh, we're opponents here and I'm not going to give you anything that I don't have to give you. And, and that's clearly been Charter's attitude from the beginning. So I shouldn't be surprised. Um, but you get what you asked. Well, I was surprised I get the request, Barry. I'm sorry? I was surprised I got the request in the first place. Well, I'll tell you, Verizon submitted the information without our even having to ask. And the purpose of the request is why? Well, we have to assess whether you're entitled to a renewal of the license. And I don't know how we can make that judgment if we don't know what your complaint record is, what your service record is. I think that's why the language is in the contract, John. 
it's a compliance issue, John. It's pretty standard, pretty standard to look at that during ascertainment. Well, I, just, I just found the timing of it interesting, that's all. Well, yeah. <laughs> I guess maybe if we'd had an answer from you last uh, March or April, the timing would have been different. Hmm. Yeah. Bill, you know how to get a hold of me anytime. Well, I know many times he's tried and gotten no response, so. Um. Well, I, 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 do, I do hope to be speaking with you on Tuesday, John, right? Do you want me to call you or are you gonna call me? I'll call you. All right. All right, uh, any other business before the committee today? Not from me. Nor me. Okay. Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn the meeting. Second. Okay. Uh, we have to do a roll call, Kathy. Yes. Will. Yes. And three it is. It's unanimous. Uh, thank you all. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good weekend, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. You too. Bye. Mm-hmm.